All right, so direct, whoops, wrong color. Right, so direct and inverse proportions. Proportionality is what we should call it, really. Okay? Yeah. Right, so the question is, why is inversely proportional to d squared, right, and when d equals 10, y equals 4, the second part of the question says, D is then directly proportional to to x squared and when x equals 2 D equals 24 all right yeah. and it says find a formula For y in terms of x. All right? So what we need to do is to find, first of all, y equals something to do with d squared, and then replace the d squared with x's. Okay. Alright? So two stages to the question. So the first thing, all right, let me switch to this. Okay, so what we have is um, you remember first of all we start with y is proportional to all right now it's inversely proportional so it's one over all right inversely always means one over d squared is it, is it the same okay. yeah so. that's what you've done there mm -hmm. absolutely correct so y equals we replace the proportion sign always with an equals and then a k a yeah. constant over d squared, all right? Yeah. We know that when d equals 10, y equals 4. Therefore, 4 equals k over 10 squared, yeah. all right? So this k is 400. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So the formula for y in terms of d is y equals 400 over d squared, all right? That's the first part. The second bit, we're going to get something for d in terms of x, all right? Yeah. Now, d is directly proportional to x squared, so we're going to just jump to that stage, because I think you understand that bit. d equals k x squared, directly proportional on the same line, right? Yeah. And again, we have some values for that. So D equals 24. Let's just jump to that. 24 equals a different K, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> call it K2, if you like, uh, just as a label, times X squared, which is 2 squared, right? Yeah. So that's 4. So 24 equals the second K, times 4, bring that around here, so the second k equals 6, does that make sense? Yeah. Alright, okay. So therefore the formula for d equals 6 x squared, All right? Mm. Which I think you got in your solution, yeah. All right? That was good. So now what we want to do is to write this, remember the first one was d squared, Yeah. yeah? So let's get an expression for d squared. d squared equals 6, x squared, all squared. Okay. That is basically 36 x to the power 4. Yeah. All right? You okay with that? Yeah. We now put that back in the y equation. So y equals 400 over 
d squared. Okay, so that is going to be 400 over 36 x to the 4. All right, and now it's a question of tidying that up. All right, so both of those can be divided by 4. Yeah. All right, um, yeah, let's do that. So it's y, reducing it to lowest terms, it's 9 x to the power 4. Okay. That's your answer. Does that all make sense? Yeah. Any questions on that? Mm, no. no? Anything you're unsure about? Uh, can you go back to the top? Yep, go on. That's more or less exactly what you've done. Mm. Yeah, you got all the k's and things correct. It was just substituting for d back in. Okay. Is there a bit that's confusing you? No, I get it. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Yeah? All right then.